To this point, we know you were supposed to meet your parents on your father's boat. Then they sent a message telling you to stay there and wait for them. Apparently you didn't. Waiting's never been my strong suit. I must have gone to their house and saw that they'd left. And at some point, I got into their safe, and that's where I found out... That they weren't your birth parents, which was devastating for you. Are you ready to continue? Not until you tell me why I'm here. Wherever here is. My responsibility is to help you remember. That's it. So why tarot cards? I mean, what kind of doctor uses tarot cards to treat amnesia? They're just a tool, like ink blots or word association. What's important is that it's helping you to remember. The tarot doesn't work by coincidence. It all stems from a person's energy. The cards reflect your hopes and fears. For you, they represent your memories. And if you're ready, we need to take a look at three more. Describe what you're seeing. It's my father's boat. Why is the boat important to you? We used to come here when I was little. Who's we? Me, my mom, and dad. Is this memory from your childhood? No, it's... it's from now. What do you think of seeing this place? Boat, sea, glass. All right. Let's look around and try to find out what happened here. Honestly, I didn't even know my dad still had the boat. I haven't been down there in, I don't know, 10 years at least. You know, I'd really like to be with you on your birthday, especially the big three of Yeah, I think they want it to be just the three of us. It was kind of our special place. 
All right, I'll try not to take it personally. Maybe we could celebrate your birthday at midnight. How early do you have to get up? Early. My mom booked the ticket. So I guess that's a no. Sorry. I'm just not... to my last day of youth. The first time we went to the Florida Keys, I was seven or eight. Dad wanted us to keep it a secret. This is nice, isn't it? Yep. I want this to always be our special place. Promise me you'll keep it special and never tell anyone about it. Dad, I already said I wouldn't. Yes, honey. Come put some sunscreen on. Oh, you had the boss. Something changed after that night alone on the boat. I started hearing a voice. It was saying something I couldn't understand. I don't know why I'm remembering this. One of the first times we were on the boat, I was maybe six years old, I found a bunch of papers my dad had shredded. I loved puzzles, so I tried to put this newspaper article back together.
From this article, it sounds like my parents pulled a disappearing act at least once before. August 17, 1978. I would have been a few weeks old and living with Ben and Lila, but no mention of them having just adopted a baby. I don't recognize this place. Describe it. It looks like someone's office. It could be out of some old film noir movie. Maybe this is where I met the detective, Merriman. Merriman? You found his card at your parents' house. Yeah, card is a key word. And the first word for Merriman's gotta be... hat. I'm remembering something, but it must happen later on. We have a key card to a motel room, and there's something really bad inside. Maybe you should stay here. Why? What is it? It's not good. Let me see. Oh my god. What is it, Jess? I remember now. Merriman said it looked like someone had been... Tortured. Yeah, now I remember the first time I met Merriman, the P.I. His office is in Essex, just up the coast from Boston. It's a long way from my parents, but it feels like something's drawing me there. Sure, I can help you track down your parents. I'm just curious why you'd drive, what, four hours to come and see me? Why not just hire a P.I. in their neck of the woods up in New York? Well, they have one of your business cards. There must be a reason why. I pass out a lot of cards. There's one other thing. I don't know if it has anything to do with my parents' disappearance, but I just found out I was born near here. I was adopted, and for some reason, my parents didn't want me to know that. Well, that is a coincidence. Or maybe not. You want to know how much I charge before I get started? Money's not an issue. Time is. Another coincidence. I got lots of time and no money.
I'm remembering something, but it must happen later on. We have a key card to a motel room, and there's something really bad inside. Maybe you should stay here. Why? What is it? It's not good. Let me see. Oh my god. What is it, Jess? I remember now. Merriman said it looked like someone had been tortured. Okay. First words you think of. Bell. And baby, for some reason. Where are you? A school? A nursery? No, it's old and creepy. Looks a little like a church, but I think it's... it's an asylum. I remember going to a hospital, Addison Gilbert. I guess it's where I was born. I went there trying to find my birth records, hoping to find out something about my real parents or how I ended up with Ben and Lila. But instead of answers, there's just another new mystery. They're missing. That's all I know. So someone took my birth records? Why would someone take my records? Who knows? Could have happened any time over the past, what, 30 years? Is there anyone else I can talk to? Someone who might remember something? This is really important. I don't know. Maybe Dr. Giordano. I think he delivered most of the babies back then. He don't work here anymore, but I know where you can find him. Well, that would be great. How could I have forgotten about Dr. Giordano? At the asylum, a very weird guy. 
Seemed like he was hiding something. We uh, don't like to use the term asylum these days. Uh, we prefer mental health care facility. Sorry. I've worked here part-time since they made me retire from the hospital a few years back. That's actually why I wanted to talk to you. I think I was born at Addison Gilbert, but they don't have my birth records. So you think you might be one of my babies? I guess you could say that. Jess Silloway. That doesn't ring a bell. No pun intended. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have been my name at the time. Apparently, my birth father was a man named Devin Tellis. Tellis? You remember the name? I... I'm not sure. My memory isn't what it used to be. I'd really appreciate anything you could tell me. Uh, it's getting late. Uh, I have to make my rounds. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. I remember going to a hospital, Addison Gilbert. I guess it's where I was born. I went there trying to find my birth records, hoping to find out something about my real parents or how I ended up with Ben and Lila. But instead of answers, there's just another new mystery. They're missing. That's all I know. So someone took my birth records? Why would someone take my records? Who knows? Could have happened any time over the past, what, 30 years? Is there anyone else I can talk to? Someone who might remember something? This is really important. I don't know. Maybe Dr. Giordano. I think he delivered most of the babies back then. He don't work here anymore, but I know where you can find him. Well, that would be great. When I first came to Dr. Giordano's office, he was looking at the squeegee board and making notes. When he saw me, he hid it under some papers. I don't know why, but after he excused himself to go make his rounds, I slipped back into his office to take a look. Is the old doctor somehow involved in all of this? But if he was, wouldn't he have reacted when I introduced myself? The name Silloway didn't mean anything to him. It wasn't until I said the name Tellus that he reacted. When I went to try and find the doctor, I was told he'd left and no one could tell me where he might have gone. Not half bad. No, huh? it's all bad. More for me. So what have you got there? Did I mention that my father was a cop? He investigated pretty much every big crime in this county for over 40 years. This hard drive has backups of all of his case files. You think there's something in there about my parents? Oh, I know there is. But not the parents you're thinking of. Your real parents. And I don't think you're going to like it. 
My dad was a big blackjack player. He must have had someone set this up to be his password protection. I'm guessing we need to play some 21 to get past it. here. Just a scanned newspaper clipping. But I think it's enough to tell you what you need to know. This is unbelievable. All of it. I had a twin and my real father killed her. It's understandable why your parents would want to keep this from you. My father, Ben, he was Devin Tellis' lawyer. That's how they knew each other. But why, how was I adopted? What happened to my real mother? None of this is making any sense at all. I feel like I don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> 